Hey, you wanna know how you can help save the oceans and get a dope pair of shades? Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Tyler, I'm an optician here at Sporter X and I'm with Ryan. He is our Costa man, knows everything there is to know about Costa, that's why he's here. We're gonna talk about O-Search, yep. but before we get into that, I definitely want you to take a moment to subscribe. We have lots more content like this and if it is interesting to you at all, you're gonna get lots more from us if you subscribe and if you have any questions or comments, down below, we will actually get back to you. We respond to all of those. You can always call us. We love talking to you. Uh, lots of different avenues to get to us. We even have a blog on this. You can check out below. There's no end to what we know and we that we want to share with you because we want to share with you. Uh, so we're talking about Zoe Search. Yes, if sir. you are familiar with Costa at all, you have probably heard the word or term O Search. Maybe you've yep. just read it and wondered what is that. Mm -hmm. And you know what it is? They are actually a nonprofit organization that Costa teams up with. Uh, they focus on the health of our oceans. Their mission statement, which I think is pretty cool, is to accelerate the ocean's return to balance and abundance uh, through fearless innovation and scientific research, education, outreach, and policy using unique collaborations in the US and abroad. Uh, what that really means is they're going out there, they are actually spending time and resources to uh, make sure that we can get our ocean back to a, a healthy state, which is important. I mean, Coast is a big fishing, they're, they're a big company in the fishing world, right? Yeah, absolutely. They want to take, they were born on the water, so they want to take care of the water. It's, yeah, you know, it, they feel like it's their duty to make sure, hey, like we get to use these sunglasses on the water every day. Like we got to make sure we take care of it and not let it. So our children's children can be able to use it in a good way and it's healthy. And that, they, yeah, that there are still fish in the oceans <laughs> then. As much as sharks may scare you, they're pretty necessary yeah. to the ecosystem in the water. And so what are they doing, Ryan? What is it specifically that they do? So basically they're going out and tagging animals, sharks specifically, but they do tag, you know, turtles and dolphins. They want to collect data that was unattainable in the future so they can learn like, are the sharks healthy? What's going on with them? Are they battling? Are they dealing with stuff that maybe were causing, you know, just information that they didn't have. But basically on each expedition, they have a small boat and a huge but the big boat is basically a laboratory that they use to bring up the animal in a safe way without hurting us so they can get all these samples that they're going out for. But a smaller boat will go out and basically hook the hook the shark and they bring it and they wrap it around using hand lines. This hand line then, they, once the shark is there, it's kind of tired out, they bring the smaller boat up to the big Osterch laboratory and basically bring it up slowly in a way where you know, the shark's not being stressed and everything and they're trying to get 12 samples and 15 minutes. So we're trying to you know, get a blood sample, a slime sample, a bunch of different things that can give them research on the shark, if it's healthy, what it's been through in its life. And then from there on track it and see how it's going in the oceans and making sure getting that data to help provide more research about them. And there's this really cool video on YouTube that Osterch put out where you can see all of this happening in real time on an Osterch boat. That's pretty awesome. And the, you say tracking, which uh, this is a pretty cool thing. Mm -hmm. Something that I thought was pretty cool is you can actually, as well on their website, you can track everything that they have and are presently tracking, which is pretty cool. You can see where they've gone, where they're going. Uh, and I think that they have, what is it? Over 400 animals presently tracked. Yep. And like you said, most of them are sharks, right? Yeah. And what's really cool, what Coast is doing for them is basically each sunglass in this collection, when you buy, you are contributing to a new Osterch expedition so they can go out and tag more animals, get more data, and see well, you know, what is the health of the ocean, basically. And it's really cool is that you can see all the animals everywhere. I mean, they've tagged so many animals. You can track where they've been going on their patterns, what they've been up to, how big they are, what if it's a male, female, what... Um, how you know is it? How old is it? You know, the calf is it? You know, mid age or an adult? It's really interesting. It's just everything wow. you can learn. What else is really cool is Osterch actually pulls up into really big cities and they have the classes to the youth to teach them about the ocean, what they're doing, what this information can really do. So that way they can one get people into it and get more awareness to the cause. They need this research to continue if you really want the the ecosystem to be you know back into abundance. Yeah. And so that's pretty cool. So what you're saying is Costa really puts their money where their mouth is. Yes, exactly. They are contributing and help giving back some of their sales to Osterch so they can get more expeditions and you know continue to make sure the ocean is at a healthy point for today and the future on. 
It's a nonprofit, so yeah. they need support. So exactly. what models of Costa are So we got available? a lot. So we don't have all of them on the table, but we have the Costa Slack Tide, the Cat K, you have the Care, the Panga, you got the Remora, the New Vela, the Rinconcito, the Fantail, the Tuna Alley, the Switchfoot, the Loretta, and the Broadville. So you have a lot of frames, and also the Reefton. Sorry, I forgot the last one's a very popular the frame. Reefton. Yeah, of course, the Reefton. But all of those frames you can find on our site under the Yellow Search collection, and you can you can go help contribute to the sharks in that search. So it's pretty cool. And regardless if you get Plano, you know non RX or RX, you are help contributing with just the frame itself. If that's all you purchase, so it's pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah, I uh, I would love to see I'd love to see your face on that boat. I want to see you <laughs> right. grabbing that shark. <laughs> yeah. At the very least, giving it a hug. Well, hopefully this information was interesting to you. There is a lot more to learn yes. about OSEARCH, so definitely check out their website. We can link that down below. And again, definitely comment uh, with any questions you might have that you think we can help with and give us a call. Thanks for watching. Tyler, my friend, amigo. Hey, dude. Hey, pal. How are you not gonna see that like right on his forehead? <laughs> Wow. I'll just sit here and smile and wave, boys. <laughs>